This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. <sighs> What's up, YouTube? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Back at you with another video. And, uh, Today's gonna be some vlogginess. Vlogginess. Vlogginess in the car. Vlogginess in vehicles. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving to work, I'm running a little bit late. But, I wanted to check in with you guys. Um, I know, it's been like, it's been almost a week. Where the fuck have you guys been? I've been worried about you. It's like one day you're 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 here, the next you're I don't know, no one's heard from you. Well, I've been around. I've just been I've been doing some stuff, is what it is. I went to Vape Mania this past weekend and it was awesome. I uh, got to see a lot of old friends, make some new ones. I uh, got to hang out with Southern Gentleman Vape Reviews, got to hang out with Heavy Metal Vapor, uh, got to hang out with Phenom. Uh, Phenom is not a reviewer, uh, Phenom is an admin over at My Vaporium, uh, which is a site basically for vapors, by vapors, just a lot of vapors on that site shooting the shit. It's uh, kind of a cool site. Um, I joined it about a couple months ago, but I hadn't really posted anything there. Um, it, it's a good site. I, I, it's gotten a lot better. Move you a little bit. Yeah, that, that's better. My Vaporium has gotten a lot better since two months ago when I first joined it. I really wasn't that into it back then. Um, the site just wasn't that good. Uh, I'm a mobile person. I'm not really on a computer unless I have to be, which is, you know, when I'm editing videos usually. That's kind of the only time I really have to be on a computer. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not, it wasn't that into it. But looks like it's gotten more mobile friendly, which I like. So I, I may be on there a bit more. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, we went out for drinks, uh, all of us together, we had a great time, we went out to the Mellow Mushroom. Um, Phenom bought me beer, I don't drink, <laughs> I drank my beer, it was a good time. We hung out, we had some laughs, it was cool. Um, what else, at Vape Mania I also got to see, I got to run into Nick. Nick, guy that made my dog mods, give me a big hug. <laughs> it's good to see him. Um, got to see some Instagram folk, uh, CDEF1313. Got to run into him. He's a cool guy. I got to... What else did I do? Got to try a bunch of juice. Uh, got to make some new... New favorite juices? Yeah, I got some I got some juice reviews coming up, is what I got. Uh, some good ones, some good ones, some really, really good juice vendors that I discovered there this past weekend. It was awesome. Got to see OK Vapor. Uh, OK Vapor is like a brand new reviewer. He is just getting his feet wet. Uh, shout out to him and his channel, um, D and E over there, got to meet him, um, he's a really cool guy. He does this magic trick where one minute his hand is empty, he's got a mod in it or a beer in it or whatever. It's a really neat trick. I don't know how he does that. <laughs> one day I'm going to ask him, but he'll probably be like, oh, a magician never reveals his tricks or something. I don't know how he does that trick. It's cool though. <laughs> He's funny. I really like his channel and I've been 
watching pretty much every video that he puts out. I really like his channel. He's gonna be big, mark my words. Um, yeah, he's gonna come up pretty quick, I'm pretty sure. But he has a great video up right now uh, chronicling the convention. Um, if you've never been to a convention before, if you've ever thought about going to a convention and wondering what it's all about, you should check out OK Vapor. I'll put a link in the description of this video to his channel or the video where he shows you uh, the convention because it's a really fun video. Um, you, you can get an idea of what all the craziness is about because it's it's a good time. Uh, the you know it's the only convention that I really go to. I don't really have enough money to travel all over the country or anything like that. So it's kind of the one that I go to whenever it's happening. Uh, Vape Mania, ever since Vape Mania last year. So this is the third one I've been to. So Vape Mania always happens in like August, September time. Vape Slam happens in uh, summertime, August time. Hey, I said that wrong. Yeah. I did. Vape Slam happens in like March time, that kind of thing. And the next one's going to be in March and it's going to be in Charlotte, which I'm super excited about because Winston-Salem kind of sucks, to be honest with you. I, I never really liked Winston-Salem too much. The, the town, it's just not enough there. Um, I mean, when my wife go and I go away, you know, we like to, you know, we like to explore the town a bit do stuffs. Honestly, the best meal that we've ever had in Winston-Salem was had at the Marriott this year. Um, the first time we went, we stayed in the Embassy Suites, and it was god-awful. Uh, my wife complained, and we got a night for free, because we had the, the hotel was terrible. And the second time we went, we got a Groupon or Living Social or something for the Graylin, and it was okay. <laughs> the Graylin was owned by a, uh, owned by, like, the top dog over at, um, R.J. Reynolds for a while, so it was kind of weird. It was like we were at a convention for e staying in, you know, the former manor of the big dog over at the cigarette industry. It's kind of funny, um, but that was a beautiful property. Uh, but I mean, it was, it needs a little work, you know, a little more maintenance, I guess. And this time we stayed at the Marriott and the Marriott was awesome. I gotta say, Marriott was badass. <laughs> we had a great time there. Um, rooms were spotless. Service was exquisite. Um, you know, it was wonderful. And the food, the food in the restaurant downstairs, oh my God, oh my God. Um, when we were walking in, uh, Nick from Dog Mods was walking out and this guy is the coolest guy ever. I mean, I mean he, he calls us over to his table, um, has, has us eat some of his, his okra nachos, <laughs> shoot the shit for a bit. He wouldn't take no for an answer. He's like, I, I'm Italian. I don't take no for an answer. You need to eat some of my nachos. So that was cool. He's just a fun guy. I like Nick. Nick's a good guy. But um, yeah, we ended up ordering pretty much the same thing that he was having because it looked really good. <laughs> they okra nachos, basically fried okra, not like cut up okra, like uncut okra, you know, and uh, they they put pimento cheese and goat cheese and cut diced tomatoes on there. It was fucking delicious. 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 Also had a burger. This burger had burger. Of course it had burger. But it had bacon and it had chicken. Fried chicken on top of this burger. Holy shit. Holy shit. And uh, Gouda. It was 
righteous. And everything was perfect. You know, sometimes you get that bacon in a burger and it's like that skinny, thin cut bacon that, you know, you really can't taste it. No, you can taste every single thing in this burger. It was amazing. Balls. It was amazing. And I also had a uh, scallops with duck confit on top and on uh, a better risotto. Oh man, that was so good. So good, so good. Um, yeah, that was like the best meal we've ever had in Winston-Salem. I have never been a fan of Winston-Salem. It's, it's just not a whole lot there. The first time we were there, we went down to the Arts District, and it was dead. Dead. I could not believe it. Uh, well... Next year, next year at Slam in March, it's going to be in Charlotte. It's going to be in motherfucking Charlotte. So not only is it going to be a cooler town, it's going to be a closer town. So we don't have to drive, you know, it's going to basically cut our trip in half to get there. So we are super excited. And it's going to be twice the size and twice the vendors. So if you have the means to get to Charlotte, uh, Vape Mania, Vape Slam, excuse me, it's going to be there in March, weekend of the 19th, I want to say, and the weekend before that, I have to go to a wedding, I have to go be a groomsman in Vermont in the winter, I'm not excited, I'm not excited at all, um, I'm excited to see my buddy get married, uh, I'm not excited to go to Vermont, not excited to go to Vermont. And, and then in August, I have to go be a groomsman again. Again, on Long Island. Oh, I have to go back to New York. Which, uh, eh, it was bound to happen sooner or later. I think there's still a, well, <coughs> I think there may still be a warrant out for my arrest in New York. Jury duty. <laughs> What's the statute of limitations on not doing not doing your jury duty? I don't know. It's it's been about it's been about ten years, almost. I might be okay, right? I don't know. Um, it's not like I just skipped out in jury duty. I moved. Cut me some slack. Uh, traffic. Anyway, so. Yeah, I've got two big weddings coming up next year. I've got a lot of travel next year. Um, it's going to be nuts. It's a lot of travel for me. Uh, a lot of travel... And not like touristy travel. Like, travel for... Yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to see my friends get married. And uh, go take part in the wedding. That's going to be cool. I just... I don't really want to go back to Long Island right now. And I really, really, really don't want to go to Vermont in the winter. Um, when I moved to South Carolina, it was like, you know, I was amazed that I could wear shorts in the wintertime. That was wonderful. I was I was longboarding and, and skateboarding through December. It was amazing. Now I've gotten more accustomed to it. And, uh, you know, the... Uh, the cold really has a big effect on me. I'm kind of a wussy when it comes to the cold now. So, yeah, you guys haven't heard from me too much. I've uh, been kind of busy um, getting back and forth from the convention and all that. I've also had a death in the family. Um, my dog died. Um, one of my dogs. I've got... I can't say I have three dogs and three cats anymore. I can't. And it sucks. I've got two dogs and three cats now. Um, our oldest... Uh, is, you know... We had to put her down about two weeks before Babe Mania. It's been hard. Um, 
every morning I wake up and I think I need to go check on her and uh, get her outside because in you know, the past year or so she's you know, had a little bit of a hard time holding her water. Um, and, you know, every night my wife has been crying. So, it's been kind of a rough couple of weeks learning what life is like without her. Um, she was a big part of our lives. And, uh, you know, I haven't been myself. Um, I haven't been myself at all. I've just been kind of going through the motions every day. I'm in mourning, is what it is. You know? Uh, we don't have kids. We don't really want to have children. Um, we have pets that we save. Um, my wife found this dog when she was working at Ruby Tuesdays. Dottie was covered in red mange, had to take her for dips, uh, weekly dips to get her fixed up. She's had about three or four knee surgeries. She had arthritis all up and down her back. She had about three teeth. Um, she has pancreatitis was in kidney failure. Um, but she's been nothing but happy, always. She's never met someone that she didn't love instantly. She never, I mean, she didn't have a mean bone in her body. She was just a, a wonderful, sweet, sweet girl. And uh, she, when she was a ring bearer at our wedding. I mean, I took her to work with me every day for about four years. I mean, she was awesome. They broke the mold when they made her. So, like I said, I haven't been myself. And uh, I'm at work now, so. I'm back, mostly. I'll post some videos up soon enough. Anyway, till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, Vape on Vapers.